Hello World Explorers, this is Sandip, your virtual guide to the most fascinating corners of our planet. Today, we are setting our sights on a place that breathes history, a place that has seen the rise and fall of empires, a place that was once a crossroads of culture and commerce. Welcome to the ancient city of Balkh, also known as Batra, nestled in the northern region of Afghanistan. In the annals of history, Balkh holds a special place. It was a thriving center along the Silk Road, that fabled network of trade routes linking the East and the West. Its walls have borne witness to the ebb and flow of fortunes, to the tales of traders, travelers and conquerors. It's a city where every stone has a story, every alley echoes the past. So buckle up as we embark on this journey, time traveling to the ancient city of Balkh, the mother of cities. Balkh, a city that whispers tales of a time long past, has a history that dates back to 500 BC. This ancient city, known in antiquity as Bactra, is a place where history seeps from every stone and every corner tells a story of civilizations gone by. In the heart of Asia, Balkh served as an important center of Zoroastrianism, an ancient Persian religion long before the Common Era. It was here that Zoroaster, the founder of this faith, is believed to have spent his final years. As the centuries rolled on, Balk became a beacon for Buddhists, attracting scholars and monks from across the region. The city's monasteries and stupas stood as testament to its religious significance. But the march of history is relentless and change inevitable. In the 4th century BC, a young and ambitious conqueror from Macedonia, Alexander the Great, set his sights on Balk. The city fell, becoming yet another jewel in the crown of his expansive empire. Under Greek rule, Balkh, or Bactra as it was known then, flourished as a center of culture and learning. Yet, the winds of change weren't done with Balkh. As the Islamic Golden Age dawned, the city found itself in the heart of the burgeoning Muslim world. Balkh transformed into a major center of Islamic culture, its skyline punctuated by the minarets of grand mosques and its streets echoing with the verses of the Quran. From Zoroastrian fire temples to Buddhist monasteries, from Greek academies to Islamic madrasas, Balkh has been a cradle of civilizations, a meeting point of cultures and a witness to the ebb and flow of human history. Its legacy is a tapestry woven with threads of diverse beliefs, traditions and philosophies. In Balkh, history isn't just a subject in a textbook. It's a living, breathing entity that permeates the air, the streets, the very soul of the city. It's a narrative that unfolds with every step one takes, a tale told in a thousand voices yet united in one chorus. Indeed, Balkh's history is as rich as the soil that nurtures its famous melons. Now, let's turn our attention to the architectural treasures of Balkh. As we journey through the city of Balkh, we're bound to encounter the remnants of the ancient city walls. These walls, though weathered by time, still hold their ground, echoing the strength and resilience of Balkh's past. Their grandeur, though faded, speaks volumes about the city's historical significance. They are more than just barriers of stone and mortar. They are the silent guardians of a bygone era. Moving on, we find ourselves in the presence of the Haji Piada Mosque, the oldest Islamic building in Afghanistan. This mosque, also known as No Gumba due to its nine cupolas, is a testament to the architectural prowess of the early Islamic period. The intricate stucco decorations, the arches that seem to defy gravity, and the overall simplicity of the structure are awe-inspiring. It's a place where history and spirituality intertwine. A place that has withstood the test of time, bearing witness to the rise and fall of empires. Next, we delve into the world of Persian poetry and mysticism as we approach the tomb of the famous Persian poet Rumi. Born in Balkh, Rumi's words have touched hearts across the globe for centuries. His tomb, located in the heart of the city, is a place of pilgrimage for his followers and admirers. The architecture of the tomb, with its turquoise blue dome and intricate tilework, reflects the beauty and depth of Rumi's poetry. It's a place where the physical and metaphysical realms meet, a sanctuary of peace and contemplation. These architectural marvels of bulk are not just structures of brick and mortar, but repositories of stories and histories. They are the silent narrators of Balkh's past, their whispers carried by the winds that sweep across this ancient city. As we walk through the city, we walk through time, each step taking us closer to understanding the heart and soul of Balkh. These architectural marvels stand as silent witnesses to Balkh's glorious past. Beyond architecture, Balkh's cultural significance is equally captivating. 
bulk, often referred to as the mother of cities, is not just an architectural treasure trove. It's a cradle of culture and wisdom that has nurtured scholars and artists for centuries. Let's delve into the intriguing cultural facets of this ancient city. A significant chapter of Balkh's cultural heritage is its profound contribution to Persian literature. The city is the birthplace of the legendary Persian poet Jalal ad-Din Muhammad Rumi. Known simply as Rumi, his mystical poetry continues to inspire millions around the globe. His famous work, the Mathnawi, is often referred to as the Persian Quran, such is its impact and reverence. Balkh's literary legacy doesn't end with Rumi. The city was also home to Zoroaster, the founder of Zoroastrianism, one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions. Next, let's talk about the Bactrian gold, a remarkable testament to Balkh's rich cultural heritage. The Bactrian gold, also known as the treasure of Bactria, is a collection of over 20,000 gold ornaments dating back to the 1st century BC. This priceless treasure trove was discovered in the tombs of six nomadic princes and offers a fascinating glimpse into the artistry and craftsmanship of the ancient Bactrians. Balkh's cultural significance also extends to its pivotal role in the spread of Buddhism. It was here that Buddhism found a welcoming home after its birth in India. The city became a major center for Buddhist learning, attracting scholars and monks from far and wide. The remnants of Buddhist stupas and monasteries in Balkh bear witness to the city's vibrant Buddhist past. So, from Persian poetry to ancient gold treasures, from Zoroastrianism to Buddhism, Balkh's cultural tapestry is as diverse as it is rich. Each thread weaves a tale of a city that has been a beacon of culture and learning for centuries. The cultural echoes of Balkh continue to resonate, transcending boundaries and time. Fast forward to the present, and Balkh still holds a special place in Afghanistan's heart. In the contemporary world, Balkh's significance is multifaceted. It's not just a city that rests on the laurels of its historical grandeur, but a vibrant hub that continues to contribute to the country's identity and economy. A key pillar of Balkh's economy is agriculture. The fertile lands around the city yield a bounty of crops, from wheat and cotton to a variety of fruits and nuts. This agricultural prosperity has earned Balkh the nickname the Granary of Afghanistan. The city's agricultural wealth doesn't just feed its people, but also fuels a dynamic marketplace where the hustle and bustle of trade echo the city's ancient Silk Road past. But Balkh isn't just about work. When it comes to celebrations, the city knows how to throw a party. The traditional Nowruz celebrations, marking the Persian New Year, are a sight to behold in Balkh. As winter gives way to spring, the city bursts into a festival of colors, music and dance. The air is filled with the aroma of traditional foods, while the streets come alive with joyous processions, games and performances. It's a time when the spirit of Balkh truly shines, reflecting its rich cultural tapestry. However, amid all the modern-day hustle, the city never loses sight of its historical legacy. Efforts are ongoing to preserve Balkh's historical sites, a testament to its commitment to safeguarding its past. International organizations and local authorities are working hand-in-hand, hand, not just to conserve these sites, but also to promote them as destinations of learning and tourism. These initiatives are breathing new life into the city's ancient ruins and monuments, ensuring that they continue to inspire awe and curiosity for generations to come. Balkh, a city steeped in history, continues to write new chapters in its ever-evolving story. Our journey through Balkh, the cradle of civilizations, has been nothing short of a fascinating history lesson. We've traced the footsteps of ancient scholars, marveled at architectural wonders that have stood the test of time and experienced a culture that's as vibrant as it is diverse. The historical significance of Balkh is undeniable, its roots embedded deep within the annals of human history. We've seen how it has been a beacon of knowledge, a hub for scholars from the world over. From its architectural marvels, we've witnessed the testament of time and the resilience of human spirit. Each stone, each monument, a silent storyteller of the city's glorious past. We've delved into Balkh's rich cultural tapestry, a beautiful blend of traditions and customs, a testament to its diverse heritage. And we've seen how this ancient city continues to evolve, to thrive in the present day. So, that's Balkh. A city where history lives and breathes. This is Sendip signing off until our next adventure. Keep exploring, folks!